Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and what I would like to do today is explain to you the different levels of search in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me first explain to you uh, what I mean by this. So I always get this uh, question from my clients and my loyal uh, blog followers uh, and the question is, well, Greg, we have all these documents in SharePoint, we have all these different sites and libraries and files all over the place and how do we find it? You know, how do we find um, uh, the the documents and the folders that we are storing on all these different sites? So today I would like to explain to you the four different levels of SharePoint search that exist and are available to you. And the four levels being uh, uh, the library level, that's number one, uh, the site level, uh, that's uh, level number two, level number three would be the hub level, and level number four would be all of SharePoint, essentially global SharePoint search. Um, so let me just uh, give you a brief demo and kind of explain to you each of these uh, levels. What I have um, what I have set up here is I have a site, an administration site. It's actually an Office 365 group, but it's a site, um, you know, nevertheless, a site that is connected, that is part of the group. So I have a site, I have a few document libraries, uh, on this site uh, with uh, some documents. Uh, my administration site is also part of the hub, uh, my company internet hub. So here it is over here. Uh, and uh, that's kind of the setup that I have. Uh, now, uh, just like, uh, so if you're looking for something, right, just like in a regular life, if you're looking for, let's say, a wallet or your keys, right, it would be beneficial if you kind of know um, the, the, the precise location, meaning, right, a particular room, maybe the, the keys are in the car somewhere, uh, right? Uh, because if you, I think you will agree with me if you, um, if your search, um, scope is kind of large, you know, maybe the, the you know, the whole apartment, the whole house, then, uh, your job of finding those keys will be much harder. Uh, same works with SharePoint. I mean, same approach works with SharePoint, right? That's why I, um, I, I told you about all these different levels. So if you know exactly the document library, where the document is located in, obviously, uh, that you know, this will yield you the best results. So in my case, I'm, you know, going to navigate, I'm going to do the, um, um, uh, the search at the library level, right, level one, if you will. So I'm going to navigate to one of my document libraries. So I'm going uh, directly into the document library. And uh, I have my documents here. And of course, I have the search box. So if whatever I type in over here, uh, within this search box, this will only show me the documents from this particular library, nothing else. So as you can see here, it already picked up on this budget document. Here we go. Uh, and uh, here we go. This is the only document that kind of matches the search criteria. I don't get any other files or folders. Uh, I get precise results uh, from within this library. So that would be uh, search done directly at the library level. Of course, I have my best results here. I mean, I don't have a lot of documents here, so I didn't get a lot of results. But of course, as you store hundreds and thousands of documents in your libraries, uh, you do not want to be overwhelmed with all this uh, search results. So that would be your best uh, place to start at the library level. Uh, of course, you know, uh, you know, you might not know sometimes, where, you know, where, uh, where exactly which library you put the documents in. So at that point, you might, uh, you might be, you might need to execute a search at the site level. So uh, uh, what I'm referring to is, of course, the search box at the site level. As you can see here, I navigated now one level up. I navigated to the uh, site. Um, uh, I'm at the site level right now. I'm no longer within the particular document library. And this search box tells me search this site. That means that it will search all the assets, you know, all the libraries uh, of this particular site. And on this site, I happen to have a few libraries. I already showed you this one. I also have happen to have another one called uh, financial, you know, that has some documents as well. So uh, again, I need to navigate to my site level search over here, and then it tells you search this site. So again, I type in the same criteria and look at this. Let me execute this search. Uh, look at this. Uh, it did find a, a bunch of documents. So uh, if I get a few more results. Why? Because um, because obviously I'm now searching the whole site, and it tells me which site 
Uh, it found the tone obviously only within this site and it tells me the name of the library where this particular document was found. So as you can see here, I have one document, one budget document within the uh, this document library on the site and then I have another library called Financial and I, uh, I guess I have another few documents that match this criteria uh, on this particular, uh, in this particular document library. So. Um, I obviously will get more results if I do the site level search, but uh, at least I'm still not overwhelmed by um, by possibly uh, many more choices that I will get with the other two options I'm going to show you now. So uh, that was a uh, level two search, the site level. Now, if you still uh, right, sometimes you just don't know, uh, you know, which site the document uh, is part of. Uh, at this point, uh, your next step up would be to execute uh, a hub um, hub level search. Now, uh, this obviously will only work if you created uh, hubs, you know, hub sites to begin with. Uh, obviously, if you don't have hubs, you will not be able to do what I'm going to show you. Uh, and in case if you're curious what a hub site is and, uh, you know, what the advantages are and, and how to create it and all that, I do have a video on my YouTube channel that you can check out uh, at a later time. Uh, but in my case, I do my uh, administration site happens to be part of my company Internet Hub. So my site is already connected and associated with this hub. Now, in this case, if I have uh, multiple sites that are part of this hub, um, and again, I'm searching for something for a particular document, and I know exactly it's in this hub. I'm just not sure which site exactly that is part of this hub. I'm not sure which library it is, uh, you know, within uh, within those sites. Again, in this case, you might be, you will be better off executing a search at the hub, hub level. Uh, and uh, let me actually erase this right here. Uh, that's supposed to be blank. Uh, uh, it doesn't want to erase for a second. Here we go. Yeah, it's uh, really stuck. But if you can see here, if you notice, uh, if you notice, uh, the search box says search across sites. And what it means by this is that uh, when you type something into the search window, it will search all the sites that are part of this hub. So if you have 20, 30, 50 sites that you associated, that you connected to this hub, well, this would be a very powerful search box to use, a search box to use because it will search now, uh, search now all the sites connected to this hub and this hub only. So again, I'm going to type the, uh, the, the keyword in here and I'm going to execute the search. And as you can see here, I get many more results now. Why? Because I'm turning up results from all this other sites I, I have uh, in my uh, environment. As you can see here, uh, it did include uh, the um, the results from uh, the administration site that I just showed you and libraries uh, and libraries um, uh, yeah, that is searched within. But we get many more results now. Why? Because obviously now it's searching uh, all the other sites as well that are part of this hub and all the other libraries. Uh, so you will get, definitely get, uh, you know, uh, the higher we go in terms of levels, uh, the more results you will get, right? Hopefully that's obvious. But that would be another place for you to search. Uh, and again, you know, uh, for those who are not familiar with this search results, I mean, this res uh, the, the, the way Microsoft prioritizes this results is based on your activities within SharePoint, right? Uh, if you happen to click on the uh, on a particular file uh, a few times a day. If you follow a site, uh, there is a logic behind the scenes uh, that uh, will prioritize these results and will uh, will surface them up on top and you know and prioritize them accordingly. So uh, that's why uh, you might not necessarily find, as you can see here, some of my files I'm looking for. They're actually at the very bottom of the search results for this uh, exact reason, and decided to prioritize the results from other sites uh, on top. All right. So that was level number three. Uh, and now um, there is another option for you to choose, uh, uh, for you to use. Uh, and, you know, it, it, the option, you would uh, choose this option if, in case if you don't have any hubs or maybe you um, you do have a hubs, but, you know, maybe the site might not be even connected to the hub, right? So in this case, you will use a global search. And uh, there are a few places where you can access this global search from, but the um, you know, one of my fa my favorite, I guess, place would be the SharePoint homepage. So if you go to your app launcher, click on SharePoint, that would be level number, of level four search, if you will, the global search. And if you use this search box over here in the upper left-hand corner, uh, this search box is extremely, extremely powerful. Why? Because it searches everything, 
all the SharePoint sites, whether they're part of the hub, they're not part of the hub, it searches them all. Uh, it also searches your personal OneDrive, all right? So um, now obviously all the search results, just like with all the previous cases are based on your security and permissions. So obviously it will only turn up results from the sites that you have access to. Uh, if you don't have access to the site, you are not going to see results from them. But uh, let me type something in here um, in the search box. It shows me some preliminary results. Again, I'm going to click more results. And obviously now I get tons and tons of results. As you can see here, just like in Google search, I see so many different pages uh, with the results. And the reason is because it searches everything. And I do have a lot of sites and libraries in my environment and it does search everything. So uh, just let's see if it uh, found uh, a few documents from my administration site. You see it didn't, uh, it didn't even pop up in here just because they mixed up with all the other results. But look at this. I do get results from my OneDrive. Obviously, it's going to be on my own OneDrive. I'm not going to see anything else from uh, my colleagues OneDrive. It's going to be your, you know, your, your, your OneDrive uh, that obviously you have access to, your personal one that you have access to. But if you look at this, um, it does turn up results from all this SharePoint sites plus, uh, plus your personal OneDrive. And just like with, uh, just like with uh, uh, Google search results, right? You you just have to scroll. Uh, again, there is a particular logic behind the scenes that uh, that's how it prioritizes the results. Uh, but uh, you have zero control over it, pretty much. Uh, and of course, uh, I, I'm sure this search will find the results. But if you probably noticed, right? I went through like three pages of search results, and I couldn't even find um, you know the, the results from my administration site. And the reason is because again, you know, we the, our search scope is pretty large. Uh, and you know, and you do have uh, lots of results uh, to go through. All right. So this is all I wanted to show you today. Uh, again, there are four levels for you to choose from. Uh, your best bet would be to do level one, library level. The next step up would be level two, the site level. Uh, the next level for you to search would be within the hub. That would be level number three, and uh, the the global level would be level number four. Uh, pretty much all of SharePoint, all of the SharePoint sites you have access to, plus your personal uh, OneDrive. All right, so hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, again, I encourage you to visit my uh, blog, SharePointMaven.com, and I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.